So, you want to be a witch? 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 What is all this witchcraft stuff anyway? Does being a witch mean you can point your finger and make things happen? Does it mean you can learn to fly on a broom and turn people into toads? Well, not quite. Witchcraft, or Wicca, is a religion. Wicca is not primarily about magic, although it does use magic. Wicca is about your place in the universe and your evolution as a spiritual being. Wicca is about moving forward on your personal spiritual journey, about learning, growing, and becoming the most you can be. As a religion, Wicca is a way of understanding and interacting with deity and the universe. It is a life-affirming path of growth and expansion. Wicca is based on reverence for nature and her cycles, and respect for the earth and all her creatures. Wicca teaches us to revere the natural forces of the universe, and allows us to see them reflected in the world around us, in every person and thing. Wicca has great reverence for deity, who for us has both a mother and father aspect. Wiccans approach deity through many names and forms, both masculine and feminine, and drawn from all over the world and from every age. We often compare deity to a diamond with many facets. Each name or image for deity is like one facet of the diamond. Each facet may be considered separately, and all are beautiful in themselves, but yet, they are all aspects of the single stone. Wicca believes that deity comes to each person in the way that is best understood by that person, and that this occurs differently for different people. Wicca believes that the relationship between a person and deity is highly individual, personal, and subjective. Not everyone will have the same understanding of deity, because not everyone is in the same situation, or able to understand from the same level or perspective. Because each person is different, no one has a right to judge another person's relationship with deity. This is why we respect all the names and forms that have been used to honor deity through the centuries. Deity needs them all in order to come to all people in the way that they can best understand. The most common way for Wiccans to approach deity is in the form of the Triple Goddess whose three forms are Maiden, Mother, and Crone, and whose symbol is the Moon. Her consort is the god who rules the cycles of the solar year, and is called, among other things, Lord of the Dance. His symbol is the Sun. They are viewed as polarities, or opposing but complementary powers, like the Eastern concept of Yin and Yang. Wicca has a very strong moral base. By moral, we mean treating each other in an honorable and loving manner. Wicca has only one law on which all of its traditions agree. Do as you will, but harm none. In other words, how you dress and who you sleep with is not our business. Those issues are not what we mean by morality. But a moral person doesn't hurt other people. This is the criteria for all moral action. Whenever you act, ask yourself, am I harming anyone? If you are, you are acting wrongly. Wicca is a pagan or native religion. The word pagan means from the countryside and reflects the fact that pagans follow indigenous native religions rather than book religions. Pagan religions have been built up over millennia as a result of people's observations and experiences. They are living, growing religions that can and do change when change is needed. Pagan religions revere the natural forces and cycles of life and it is from observation of and interaction with these forces and cycles that their beliefs developed. Wicca is wholly unrelated to the book religions, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and Satanism. The book religions are all descended from the supposedly historical bargain between Abraham and Jehovah, which is recorded in their Bible. The book religions all share common elements, belief in a final day of judgment, in a jealous and vengeful God in the basic sinfulness of humanity called original sin, in the superiority of the male sex, and in the idea of hell, a place of eternal torture. Most of all, the book religions believe in the infallibility of their book, the Bible, and its related books, the Talmud, the Quran, and the Satanic Bible. Though these books were written by humans, the book religions claim they were written by God. This is the hallmark of the book religions. Absolutely none of these ideas are shared by Wicca. The book religions have a totally separate origin from the pagan religions and a very different history.
Wicca as a Spiritual Path. In taking these lessons, you must understand that you're not just learning some interesting things about magic and pagan religion, you're undertaking a spiritual journey. If you apply the things you are taught and persevere in your studies, your efforts will change you on the deepest levels of your being. You'll learn about parts of yourself that you may never have known existed. Your higher self, your astral body, your chakras, and your aura, to name only a few. Master psychic skills you've only read about or seen in movies. Clairvoyance, divination, psychometry, and many more. And learn how to use magic to take control of your very destiny. You will develop strengths you did not know you had, and you will in time face your deepest fears and vanquish them. Wicca is a path of transformation and growth that will challenge you and lead you to a renewed and enriched existence. Of course, you won't necessarily get all of this just by reading these lessons. You will have to do the work. And you will need to continue your studies beyond just the first degree in order to master all of this. But the lessons contained here will build a strong base to grow from. What you will get from these lessons. If you complete this course of 12 lessons, you will be eligible to apply for initiation into the first degree of Karelian Nativist Wicca. The first degree is the lowest degree of membership in the clergy of a Wiccan tradition. Wicca is composed of many traditions, most of which, but not all, recognize each other's initiations. If you choose to take the first degree initiation, and you are not obligated to, you will become a priestess or priest of the Karelian tradition. The Karelian tradition is a syncretic and highly philosophical tradition of Wicca, one that stresses the inherent unity of all pagan traditions and the synchronicity of all spiritual paths. We believe that deity is in all things and that therefore all paths can lead to deity. Wicca is not an exclusive religion. Because we believe that all paths lead to deity, we do not believe that one must belong to any given faith or tradition to be a good person or to grow spiritually, nor is it necessary to belong to only one. Being a Karelian initiate does not mean you cannot also be an Isaean, Druidic, or Dianic initiate, or any other tradition you might wish to study or join. You must, however, respect our tradition as a member and follow Karelian practices in Karelian temples, but what you do in other places is your own business. Your Private beliefs and conscience are your own affair, and we have no desire to dictate them to you. Wicca is about learning to make your own choices, and the Wiccan traditions exist to provide a framework in which to learn and grow. Wicca seeks to open your thinking, not to limit it. So, you still want to be a witch? Now, do you still think you want to be a witch? If you think you want to be a Wiccan, you should know a few more things. To be a Wiccan is to move at one with deity. To be a Wiccan is to honor nature and all that is in her, to acknowledge the life in all things and be in harmony with that life. To be a Wiccan is to work with the seen as well as the unseen, to learn the magical secrets of stones, plants, and animals, to speak to the fairies and the spirits and to hear their reply. To be a Wiccan is to use every tool available to grow, learn, and become the best you can be. To be a Wiccan is to use magic, meditation, and ritual to overcome all limitations, all fears, and all imperfections. And to move always in harmony with deity, always to the good, and always in accordance with your own highest self. That is what it is to be a Wiccan. If knowing these things you still want to be a Wiccan, then these lessons will help you make a good beginning. Lessons for the First Degree Traditionally, it takes a minimum of a year and a day to achieve a Wiccan degree. Sometimes it takes much longer. These lessons have been formulated with this dictum in mind, and as such, they are meant to be done at the rate of one per month. Twelve lessons, then, will require at least a year to complete. This schedule allows the student plenty of time to digest the information in each lesson, which ranges quite widely in nature. A brief outline of the 12 lessons is as follows. Introduction. You are here. Lesson 1. Magic. This lesson talks about magic, what it is, what it is not, and how to use it. Lesson 2. Cosmology. 
This lesson talks about the nature of deity, universal energy, and the soul. Lesson 3. Personal Power. This lesson explains the psychic tide, the wheel of the year, and what these have to do with you. Lesson 4. The Altar. This lesson talks about the altar and how and why to build and use your own. Lesson 5. The Eights. This lesson tells about the four quarters, the elements, and all of their magical associations. Lesson 6. The Circle of Art. This lesson talks about the nature of ritual and its uses. Lesson 7. Invocation. This lesson talks about the nature of the gods, how to interact with them, and how to identify or choose your own special patron. Lesson 8. Garb. This lesson talks about magical tools and clothing. Lesson 9. Symbols, Omens, and Divination. This lesson, as you might imagine, is about how to interpret symbols and omens. Lesson 10. Basic Energy Work. This lesson shows you how to work with the spiritual energy of the body and of other living things. Lesson 11. Herbs, Oils, and Incense. This lesson deals with the history, nature, and uses of oils and incense. Lesson 12. Stones and Crystals. This final lesson introduces you to the rich world of stones and crystals. Each lesson will have several parts. The lesson itself. Exercises to develop your psychic and magical skills. Spell for the lesson to give you experience with a variety of useful magical techniques and rituals. God for the lesson to acquaint you with wicked ideas of deity and some of deity's many forms. Glossary for the lesson to explain terms that may be unfamiliar. Study questions for the lesson to make sure you understand the concepts that have been presented. The Corellian Tradition. So what is the Corellian nativist tradition exactly, and what makes it different from other Wiccan traditions? Usually when people ask this, they're expecting to hear a liturgical answer, some special beliefs or ritual forms that are unique to Corellianism. Corellianism does put an unusually strong emphasis on the philosophical aspects of Wicca and on the spirituality and inner mysteries of the Wiccan religion, but Liturgically, our beliefs do not especially differ from those of other Wiccan traditions. Rather, it is our unique attitudes toward the pagan community and its future that tend to set us apart. The Corellian tradition is dedicated to the advancement of the pagan people. We believe strongly in the need for increased communication and cooperation between pagans everywhere, from all traditions. We stress the importance of the pagan clergy as teachers and facilitators, as well as the need for a strong public presence. The Corellian tradition emphasizes celebratory as well as initiatory Wicca and is strongly committed to accessible public ritual. Tradition Leadership The leading bodies of the Corellian tradition include the Witan Council, which is made up of all temple heads, elders, and officers of the tradition and the Corellian Council of Elders, which includes the heads and officers of the tradition and its most respected members. The First Priestess and First Priest are considered to be liturgical joint heads of the tradition and function as heads of the Corell Mother Temple. The Chief Administrator of the tradition is the Chancellor, who represents and is empowered to act for the tradition's leadership as a whole. In addition to the Chancellor, First Priestess, and First Priest, the tradition's leadership includes the first elder, who is responsible for primarily ceremonial duties, particularly in regard to the succession. The Corellium The Corellium, symbol of the Corellian tradition, showing the vault of heaven with a double line representing air and light or fire, the cross of the four directions representing earth and a wave representing water. The whole represents the unity of existence. 